Hey everyone, Techni here with the review of the new mouse by Ponage. The Ponage Ultra Custom Symmetrical. A lot of you remember last year when he came out the Ultra Custom, the Ergo, the EC, Zowie EC shape right here. If you like the Zowie EC, you gotta try this mouse out. It's an absolute gem right here as far as an Ergo mouse. But again, it's the same type of concept we have here, except in an ambi shape, where you can still swap this stuff out. As you see, we do have the one with the holes, the version with the holes, and then the solid version. So again, just real quick to the point, you might be thinking, is it just a revision of this? No, it's a completely different shape here. We'll touch on that later on there. And I also have some other comparisons to some other really popular wireless mice right now that I think are really gonna be able to kind of sum this up as far as the shape and the feel of this for you. So as far as in your box of both versions of the mice right here, Number one, you're gonna get your mouse, then you can get your detachable USB-C braided cable. Not very paracordish, it is a little bit of a stiff one right there, but it's pretty cool the color actually coordinates with the mouse color that you bought. If you don't like that, they also sell replacement USB-C cables in a variety of different colors. And of course, Ponage sent me every color minus red, like, Come on now. Now you're also gonna get a replacement back for both these mice. If you get the honeycomb version, you can get a solid back. If you get the solid version, you get a honeycomb back. Now, as far as these backs, which we'll touch on later, they're the exact same. Again, it's just holes or no holes. It doesn't adjust the shape or anything. You also can get these little cutout square deals right here, which you can put on your one and two, which is gonna make them, you know, a little more travel or a little less travel right there. I think it's great stock as is. They're also gonna give you some replacement feet, and it's pretty cool. One of the sets of replacement feet are really thin right here, which I'm honestly not sure who's gonna use. Those, but then you also got a nice chunky set, which is what's on the mouse stock right here. But again, cool that they're giving you the options. You also can get this little USB-C to a adapter, and then of course, your manual. So the number one thing that will be on my mind when purchasing a mouse like this, where again, you can take off parts and interchange them, and you know, you're kind of stuck with just the shell here, is are these mice actually built good? And let me tell you what, from the honeycomb to the solid one, parts off, parts on, whatever, they are incredibly solid, not a lick of rattle, not a lick of flex, no matter where you squeeze or press these things. These things are solid top to bottom, inside and out. And again, when you put your replacement parts on, whether it be your one and two or your back, they stay in perfectly. Couple clips, couple magnets, they don't budge. Incredibly solid all around. And that goes right into the buttons of both versions here as well. The side buttons, super crispy. No pre or post travel. One and two, super crispy as well. As I showed you those little clear notches, you can make them a little bit little bit less travel, a little more travel if you like. Stock, perfectly fine. Scroll wheel, nice tactile, not too loose, not too tight. Very nice. Now the next thing that's just as important is the shape and dimensions of this mouse. And when we look at the numbers right here, it looks kind of small, right? It's a little bit short, a little bit thin, at least for me. Of course, that's gonna be different for everybody, right? But if we take a look at it from the side, as you can see, that hump is definitely a bit more towards the back right there. So it does come back, you can get a really nice claw on this, which is my preferred grip these days. It's just nice, because again, I can lock it in the back of my palm and really hold some shots. Now, yes, it is also a little bit thin right there. So those are the two things that fall off for me, is it being thin and a little bit short. But of course, we're not talking about the mouse for me. I'm trying to show you this mouse for you guys and what might suit you. And where I think this is really gonna sit, I got two great comparisons right here. Number one, Viper Ultimate, right? So we're gonna pull that one out. Number two, Logitech G Pro, we have the super light here, but the G Pro Wireless. So why do I bring out these two mice right here? Number one, right out of the box when I start a game with this mouse, Viper Ultimate came in my mind easy all day long right there. It just feels, again, as far as that grip with and everything, that basic grip I'm gonna get with it, to a T, Viper Ultimate, no questions asked. Now the other thing why I bring out the G Pro Wireless is that hump closer to the back on the symmetrical uh, Ultra Custom right here. Definitely sits in the back of my hand, just like the G Pro uh, Super Light over here. So again, when I combine those, if I was to take a Viper Ultimate G Pro uh, Wireless right here, this is what I would get. Like honestly, because it sits right there. Now again, talking about my gameplay and my style of gameplay, it's a tad small for me. I, again, my fingers kind of come in a little bit on the side, which is a big reason why the Viper Ultimate never really worked out for me. Because again, my hand kind of gets cramped up onto the side right over here, which is why I go to the G Pro uh, Wireless a bit more, a little bit wider. So that's probably the biggest downfall for me, not even so much the length, 
I think the length would help out a bit because it would force it into the back of my palm when I lock my shots for the claw. But again, I think if it was a little bit wider, it would be perfect. But that's where I want you to kind of compile it. Now, I'm telling you, to a T, like if you can look at dimension, you can have these people measuring their hands and this, that, or the other, you know what I mean? But clear as day, if you like the Viper Ultimate, which we know a lot of people do, right? This is what it's going to feel like to you, but with that hump of the G Pro Wireless right there. It is a fantastic fit, a fantastic feel. Let me tell you what, if it was a few millimeters longer and wider, I would hands down main this guy. Now talking about if they're changing them out, again, it is just a cosmetic thing. You can take the solid, put it on a honeycomb, take the honeycomb, put it on a solid. They sell many different colors of the one and two and then the back right there, it does not adjust the shape or anything. The weight is absolutely minor and mild. You honestly don't notice it, you know? It's pretty much, again, just a cosmetic thing. Now, taking a look at the underside of the mouse right here, number one, underneath the sticker, if the camera can pick it up, there are holes underneath that right there, which probably just helped out reducing some of that weight. We have very big, chunky PTFE feet right here, nice and rounded on the edge as well, so you don't get any of that drag or scratchy sound, and you also get those replacement feet that I showed you earlier, a thinner set and a thicker set. where you're also using the 3335 sensor, which is absolutely spot on with all of my gameplay. Looking to the left, we have our power button. Up is gonna be office mode, which just your uh, scroll wheel is gonna light up. Down is gonna be gaming mode, where your back RGB strip will light up down there. Then of course, in the middle is off. But the stinker about it, whenever you put that on, same with the original Ultra Custom, whenever you budget and move your mouse, the RGB will flicker off, right? And whenever it sits still, the RGB comes on. I'm sure that's a battery saving type thing, but it's just, annoying it's like flashing and flickering it just drives me nuts i wish i could just leave it on you know what i mean so i just flick it into the rgb off mode and in office mode you get up to 66 hours of battery life with this guy and then in gaming you get up to 40 hours and this mouse will recharge fully recharge within an hour now you can also dive deeper into the opponent software to customize this mouse again the exact same as we saw on the original ergo ultra custom right there you can adjust your dpis uh, deactivate and activate different profiles right there which is pretty cool and then again, adjust all sorts of RGB on it right there. And it's pretty cool. It saves right to the mouse. You don't have to keep the software open. So again, set your mouse how you want. Bam, delete the software and you're good to go. So all in all, the Ponage Ultra Custom Symmetrical right here, coming in at 80 bucks. Do I recommend it? 100% hands do, hands do, I do. I love the original Ponage Ultra Custom and this is just awesome. I just... For me, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but that's the best way to put it. Again, take that comparison right there. Number one, most importantly, if you like the Viper Ultimate, the way that feels in the hand, you're gonna love this. Think about the Viper Ultimate, again, with that bigger hump, and it just sits a little bit in your hand. It's not palm grip or gigantic by any means. Again, you really get Viper Ultimate vibes right there. About like half the price, I'm just a lot cheaper, you know what I mean? And again, you get the options and the customization, but all in all, like, I love this mouse. I just, man, if it was just a tad bigger, I'm telling you what, it would be my main. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the Pona Georgia Custom Symmetrical right here. If you're interested in them, again, I'm not too sure if they're active, but I will have all the links right down in the description right there. But again, I hope I was able to answer some questions to help you out with this mouse if you're looking into it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.